Hey everyone, I'm Sarah. I'm a new cruelty-free beauty blogger on the scene here on YouTube. Um, this is my first video and today I thought I'd want to share with you some of my favorite products. They're cruelty-free and a lot of them are vegan as well. So if this sounds like something that you'd be interested in, then um, please keep on watching. So first I have the Ket Cosmetics Powder in the Loose. So it looks like that. It's quite a big container. Um, it does have a regular pressed compact as well, so you can get that one if you're not such a fan of the loose. Um, I use this with a, a puff to set my foundation with. It doesn't add any color or texture behind, so it's really great um, because it's universal. You can use it on all skin tones and you can use it all year round, whether it's summer and you're quite on the tan side or in the winter when you're a bit on the lighter side. So um, that's great. And also it's silicon, paraben, and oil-free and um, it's fragrance-free as well. So I really love this powder. If you're looking for a setting powder, you can use all year round and on anybody, if you're a makeup artist, then I highly recommend that one. So I love the Ket um, Cosmetics setting powder, but if you want something that's um, travel friendly, I really love the Neve Cosmetics setting powder in the loose. This one is in the matte mineral powder. They have um, various kinds for dewy finishes and so on. They even have colored ones as well. I love this. This is perfect for me because I'm an oily to combination. And just like the Ket one, it's white, it's universal, it sets clear and um, it's just beautiful. It does a great job of setting my makeup and it adds no color or texture and I really, really love that. And also, I've got the bronzer here in Maldives. And this is also very travel friendly, I think, because it's small, fits in your purse really well. And um, this is the shade I'm wearing right now, sort of kind of like as a blush or a contour. It is quite warm for me, so I'm more of a yellow undertone. So when I wear it, it's not my favorite sort of bronzing contouring color, but it's really, really great as a cheek color. Or if you have more of a pink undertone, I would say it's perfect for you if you're sort of a medium to darker tone, such as myself. Um, these two are vegan. How great is that? It even says so in the back. And um, it's got no paraben, no silicone, no petrolatum or animal byproduct. So these are the Neve Cosmetics powders in the loose, in the matte, and a Maldives bronzer. Then I got for you Ilia Beauty's lip gloss in Love Buzz. This is a cool toned lip gloss. So it's got a lot of blue undertones in it. Um, I've swatched it earlier in my hand, so I'll come a little bit closer so you can see um, that one there. Um, it's really light on the lips. It's not sticky at all. It's really nourishing with ingredients like coconut oil, shea butter, and vitamin E. I love the way it feels on my lips. It's just really soft and not annoying at all. Um, it's a USDA organic certified um, product, which I believe all of Ilia Beauty's products are. It's 85% organic ingredients in this one too. Um, it, the scent is a um, mm, jasmine essential oils with some orange in it. It's just not um, a strong scent at all. It's just really nice and um, I really recommend it. I wear it all the time when I'm not wearing lipstick. So that was the Ilia Beauty's lip gloss in Love Buzz. Here I've got some Anastasia's brow products for you. These are beautiful. I use them every day. Um, so I'll start off with talking about Brow Wiz. Um, Brow Wiz is an eyebrow pencil and it's a uh, wind up pencil which you can wind up and you can wind back down which is beautiful. Um, this is a great dupe for the MAC eyebrow pencils and the best part is it comes with a much more extended range of shades. It comes in nine shades. Uh, I've got the one Caramel uh, which is the one I'm wearing right now i'm not sure if you can tell with the strong lighting coming from the window but this is to go with my more caramel sort of shade and the, another part that i really like about this is it's got a nice little spoolie there which is really good for um brushing the hairs in place and i use it when i've got too much product on my brows and i just kind of want to spread it all all the way into the ends so that's that and um there's also the eyebrow tints which i really like now this isn't awfully strong it adds like a nice shine and a soft color onto it um this is in in the shade caramel um it's in a football shaped wand and this is what i put on before i put on brow wiz i find that it works really well when it's before so you can kind of like knead up the eyebrows if you know what i mean and um this is also in the shade caramel to go with my hair color and this comes in i believe about seven shades um 
And also when my hair was darker, so you know, more my natural shade, I used um, the eyebrow pencil, which I don't have because I gave it to my cousin who does have black hair. And uh, for the uh, brow tint, I used the color granite, which is perfect for those of you who have black hair or just a darker um, hair color. So um, these are really great. Uh, for what I've been told, Brow Wiz is vegan, um, but the brow tints aren't because they've got um, carmine in it. So. Um, that I know for sure. So for anyone who's looking for really great eyebrow products, I recommend the Anastasia products here. Next I have for you the beautiful um, Face with Stockholm Cream Eyeshadow. I know it's a really small pop, but I like that it's travel friendly for me because I take this everywhere. Um, this is in the shade um, Till. And that's what it looks like right there. So this, I think, I'm just going to swatch it for you, is a really great do for people who, who used to use the um, matte paint pot in Rubenesque. It's got a nice orange, golden sort of sheen for it. I use this as an eyeshadow base, and um, I think it, cr it creates like a nice soft highlight under the brows. And I love this. I use this all the time. Cream eyeshadows is a must for me when I uh, for as eyeshadow primers. And I believe this this comes in 18 other shades. So I'm definitely gonna buy more. But this is my staple. This is my go-to for eyeshadow shades. So that's the face of Stockholm cream eyeshadow in Till. Then I've got Pacifica's um, lipstick. This is in the shade Rebel Soul, which is this. Awesome color way right now. Um, it's something new that I've tried and I love it. I'm definitely going to get the other shade. So, oops, I've already winded it up, but that's the shade there. That's on my lips. And I'll just swatch it um, right next to the eyeshadow cream I have over there. It doesn't really do it justice, just too much light coming in from the window. Um, this is also vegan, not tested on animals, and there's some other bonuses that I'm just going to read out because it's a little long. Um, there's no mineral oil, no parabens, no phthalates, petroleum, propylene, glycol, SLS, gluten, peanut oil, and comes in five other shades. And I love it. I pretty much don't like to wear strong bold colors most of the time, but this has changed my life. I wear it all the time. So that's the um, Pacifica lipstick and Rebel Soul. So I have some fantastic news. They are vegan lip liners, affordable ones, and they're awesome. I mean, how great is that? I mean, I'm so grateful that OCC has lip liners that are vegan and new and fantastic, but these ones I love because you can just stock them up in your kit and they're only $3.95 Great British Pounds. Um, I purchased them from Cocktail Cosmetics. You can also purchase them on Cute Cosmetics. I will put down links below or directly from their Italian website um, with Neve. So that's that. I've got five shades with me. I've got um, beige, nude, rose, peach, and scarlet. And they're fantastic. The pigmentation is amazing. They're soft. They glide on beautifully. I think these definitely get two thumbs up for me. Um, I will do swatches right after this video so you can see them in pictures. Uh, so what they look like on me. Um, they are formulated so they're good for people who have allergies. They're fragrance free. And also there's no paraben, silicon or petrol latent. And they're vegan. Did I mention that already? So these are awesome. Highly recommended. cream concealer in the shade 215 this is my go-to as you can see I finished it I actually never finished anything this is a first and I love that Lamasca is cruelty free they're very passionate about it they're very nice if you ever correspond with them and I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this one again so I love the little the packaging it's really unique um, you can tell that it's an Lamasca product away uh, straight away and it's just a really great concealer, great for coloring blemishes. It doesn't go away, it just sets beautifully. And I usually clean up my brows with it. And um, when I go on holidays, it's just a perfect 
little size I can pop in my little makeup bags I can do little touch-ups and whatnot so I think this is fantastic and you guys should get it if you're looking for a concealer um, so that's it for my favorites um, there are many many more I'd love to share with you so um, thank you so much for watching my first ever video there will be more and uh, I thank you so much for clicking and I can't wait to make friends with you and get to know more of you in the cruelty free community and beyond. So thank you so much and you guys have a great day. Bye.